Spider-Man's actually gonna be the one I go to uh, last. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's second in the order, too. Alright, Skull Man, we do have his weakness. Yep. I don't know which one it is, but let me check. Okay, let's see. Toe Man, I know, uh, kills Rain Man. Rain Man apparently kills Rain Man. No, not Rain Man, huh? Pharaoh. Pharaoh Man. Pharaoh Man kills Rain Man. Rain Man, I believe, destroys Dust Man, I think. Yep. Dust Man, I think, is what. No, no. Yeah, Dust Man, I think, is what goes after him. Yeah, it's pretty sure it's Dust Man. Because Dive Missile, I think, found for it, kills Drill Man. Yep. And Drill Man should be what's Yep, that would probably take care of Toad Man, but with, with how Toad Man is, what the fuck is the point? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, if you're having trouble with Toad they, Man, they don't even have here's it. the thing, if you're having trouble with Toad Man, uh, you probably might want to practice. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason all the ball stores tell you to go after him first. I Apparently understand the platforming not. being trouble. Apparently not. I understand the platforming being trouble. But yeah, the platforming part, I can give you some slack. Yeah, beginning. Toe Man himself. The boss himself is a joke. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I, I, that'd be some Weird. shit. You know, that'd be some shit if, like, all these things in the wall here where you see those boxes are actually all, like, um, E tanks that were used up. Oh my god. All the E tanks I could have had. So Damn it! Who used them before me? God damn it! The dead should, the dead should pave way to make life easier for the living. Not inhibit them. Damn bastard! I like my rope. I like my robot master. There's two ways: dead or bouncing. Shout Flash Woman. I don't exactly like saying. God damn it! You're getting warmer. Hmm. There you go. Wow! Only took you two tries. Good job, you're getting a lot better. Feels like a place you're supposed to land. <laughs> Feels like there's something here. Well, we didn't. Huh. Hey, you got two places you can go on. That's interesting. Oh, God. Ah. I'm going to test. Cool. Okay, so it's a room to get an energy tank and energy. Yep. Ow. Well, good thing. Good thing I told you to come here. We got two energy tanks more. Yes. Oh, he's not vulnerable there. Oh my eye! Now he is. Oh my eye! Damn it! Ah, oh, thank you, Rain Flush. Just because. <laughs> that ability is super useful. Now he too. Ah, oh, he does the overarching shot. Another E tank! Jesus! Man, this stage is E tanks. How generous. I imagine there's a, probably gotta go gotta around and kill that one somehow. Ah, there we go. Yep, there we go. Oh, cool, another life, too, in case we die. Like this game does. Yeah, I would say balloon looks like the option. Oh, too close. There we go. Man, we definitely did think out these stages pretty well. Now I can see why some people say this is the last good Mega Man game. Yeah. By which I would probably think people refer to as the last great Mega Man. Yeah. I still think, I can understand why that, because 5 I don't think is that good, but I still would defend 6. 5 through 8 are usually lower in the pecking order. I understand why. And for those that play Mega Man base, that's at the absolute lowest, for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. By the way, when did those base get introduced? 6 or 7? Seven? 7. 7, okay. Oh, I can't wait to get to 8. Bass! <laughs> Bass! <laughs> oh, good lord. If that, hey, look, if that's that, a change. If, that, ooh, if that's actually in the cutscenes, I will laugh. Oh, you're in for a treat, my friend. Hard to say if that or X7 is worth. Well, X7 at least... No, X7 be, is just bad. The the voice acting itself is, well, 8 is also very terrible. Yeah, it but is. But again, 8... Here's the thing with 8, though. Regular 8 came first. <laughs> no, I think you're talking about X4. I just meant the voice acting, but the cutscenes 
Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Eight did come before X4, that's right. Yeah. And they kept a lot of the voice actors. That's why we have female X. Yes. God damn it. That's right. Die! Die! Well, hey, at least the guy... Did you just die? I think the guy that voices Dr. Light in 8 is the only one that doesn't return for X4. I have come here with a turn. I have come here with a You have two you have two options and weapons. I can give you a plasma shot. Oh, oh I can give you a full full charge. Oh god. Pretty sick, huh? <laughs> oh god. The voice actor. Gotta right. stop Sigma no matter what it takes. I remember hearing the stuttering in some of the cutscenes. It's like, how did this get approved? How? Why do you think we should introduce the revamped cutscene to the others? Oh yeah, right. Colonel. Yeah, the revamped cutscene for X4, that's right. Oh, once we do X4, you guys... Once we get, get to X8, we should show them. Just to kind of prove our point. Colonel. Yes, that's right. Oh, yeah, his voice acting is good. What do you think you're doing? It's somewhat... It's still tough. Call off the coup now. <laughs> At least you don't say coup. <laughs> Call off the coup now. <laughs> Ever, ever since I that I actually this guy is so erratic. The skull barrier, man. That's another man. This game had a lot of good weapons. Yeah. Rain boomerang, barrel rain shot, boomerang, barrel skull, skull barrier, skull barrier, rain flush. Yeah. Yeah. Colonel. Yeah. There's still time. Call off the coup now. Oh god. I don't know if that's my favorite cutscene or the infamous one is. Hard to say. Just hearing stop the coop now. It's like, oh. Ew. <laughs> I love it at the same time. That's terrible. <laughs> well, at least he stands still when he does the skull bear. He doesn't, like, run at you with it. Like, he, he stops like a. He stops like a couple of inches before. Like, he, see? Like, he stops, but the thing is with him is, like, he stops! Oh! We still got one life. Shit. I used an 8 earlier than that. Yeah, you did. You used uh, one. You still got five. I still got five, though, so. Yeah. We'll probably get to play tomorrow. As long as you have, like, three for the Fortress, I guess we'll be fine. Then again, you know this game better than I do. You know, the Fortress is pretty rough. Then again, I guess compared to three, it would be. Then again, I guess compared to three and two, it would be. Then again, compared to all of them, it would be, probably. <laughs> I say, the Fortress of the first three games actually weren't that hard. Really, the bosses in Mega Man 2's Fortress were hard. That was about it. Fortress stuff in Mega Man 2 was pretty easy. Ooh, not... <laughs> oh, running into him does more damage. Yeah. Jeez, that took out a lot. That took out like a quarter. Wow. Okay, I was saying the bosses were easy. Now they're starting to get a little typical. They hit hard. Yeah, only because of the damage output. Yeah. Jeez. So we're gonna kinda of tell you back. Yes. Because well. I can kind of determine actually beat this one. This one's actually not that hard. I almost beat him. I mean, yeah, he stands still and he does a skull bear. You just gotta get, get your And I understand control. how the shots work. Yeah. It's just that. Damn! So watch out for the jumping. You. Hell. Burn to the ground, burn to the ground. Burn to the ground. Well, I did, I did find out something. I followed up a lot of people's opinions of the Mega Man games. I did find, apparently, people put X3 above uh, the rest of the X games, not counting 1 and 2. Really? Then again... I can understand why I'm this I was going to say, with Here's 4, you make it sound like 4 is better, but then again, I realized. I think I might know why people put X4 lower. Doesn't look sexy. Yes. <laughs> People probably get really best to enjoy the game and they get to that they're just like, oh no. It takes to <laughs> Hey for uh, hey, for someone like me, that would only enhance it. That enhances the like, mode right there. Hey, I get to have fun playing this action game and I get comedy. Yes! It's like this is supposed to be serious, but it ends up being comical. It works. I love comedy in most games I play. Like shit. <laughs> Gaming for me is supposed to be a lighthearted affair. Well, for the most part. Give me something like that, makes me appreciate you so much more. Yeah. 
That's why I appreciate X8. Thank you, Eddie. Yes. Oh, it, oh, X8. It's pretty lighthearted, huh? Well, well funny, no, no. I guess. I mean, X8's better. Than it. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely not lighthearted. I can tell you that much. Let me have. When you actually put effort in it, I guess. And you know, actually have some decent people. If, if you actually put effort in, it could be better. <laughs> No, you don't say. You put effort into stuff that actually is, it actually becomes good. Sounds like the people that made the emoji movie. It sounds like after X4 they they stop putting in effort. It sounds like once they hit X6 they really stop putting in effort. Yeah. Like Jesus. It wasn't supposed to go after X5. That will probably explain it. You must be dead. Makes me wonder if any of the if any of the middle of the Mega Man or Mega Man X games actually sound like they have like a firm ending for the series. No, it never really did. X8 left on a huge cliffhanger. Oh my god. And they haven't followed up on that? No. Holy shit! And it's weird because Well like, Lemon's coming, I guess that means X9 could probably be coming up next for all yeah, we know. That, um, I guess we'll probably see that based on the reception. Yeah, Advent also had like a um, huge cliffhanger as well. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, we confirmed that top Dr. White is an asshole. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's clearly right, right there! Look at his face! Oh, sweet, a one-off. Good, we might need that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're talking about that, that voice actor who does, a uh, That voice actor who does... Oh my god! The voice actor who does Zero on X8. I learned he also does the voice for Zero on a Command Mission, which I didn't know had voice acting. Well, I never played, um... Command Mission? Yeah, that was the only one I'm missing of my entire X uh, X collection. Oh, yeah. I don't think I don't know if the Mega Man X I don't know if the Mega Man X stuff they're unleashing for the modern they consoles. Do, they is, do have a command mission. I'm like, yes, I know they're doing one through eight. I don't know about command mission. They might. I though. hope. I'm glad they're doing one through eight. Cause I, eight needs appreciation, man. I need to it double really check that. Does. Yeah. Because eight's really fun. People probably disregard it because they're like, oh, that's the one after, after X7. X7 destroyed the series, essentially. <laughs> Jesus, that does so much fucking damage to touch. It's right. Collision detection. I wonder if running into him or his skull barrier does more damage. It's him. Wow, we have eight E tanks. Jesus. This is a good place to farm for them. You can get like three of them. Yeah, you do. You get one from farming Eddie. One from. And two from wandering around the stage. Like, jeez. Oh, if, you're, if you're really lucky, an enemy will drop another. Then again, enemies dropping E-Tanks is even more rare than them dropping lives. Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you for that E-Tank. Hey, I still use my buster. Legitimate. Didn't say I didn't have to use e tanks assholes. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, I have them for a reason. Yeah. And there we go. We only got two more left. And now we have a, one of the few defensive weapons in Mega Man games. Skull Barrier. People love this one. I can see why. I've seen mods modify it where it's like a dash thing, too. They're like, huh, interesting. Anyways, I was successful. So only two are left. Alright, Troll Man. Troll Man. The one most people go after last. We'll do you now. Just fuck you, man. Eh? You're, you're my world now. You're my world, and whatever happens to my world, eh, I don't know what happens to my world. I just let go. I don't really pay attention to it. There's enough chaos in here. It can burn, as long as I get to burn it. I'm getting a lot of one-ups, just for like... Yeah, see, now the rate it. of dropping one-ups is supposed to be low. What the fuck? You get so many of them. If I remember, the rate for one-ups is the same as the rate for E-Tanks. Or it might be twice as much. It might be twice as much, because E-Tanks are coming pretty low. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. fixed. You got, like, eight lives from them, and not a single E-Tank. Then again, they might have They don't drop E-Tanks. The only person that drops E-Tanks Oh, they don't. Eddie. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, never mind. They never drop the tanks from the game. That'd be some sh if they did that, that'd be, that would break the game. Think about it. Fair point. If you got really lucky, you could live forever, no matter how bad you are. Nah, I wonder if it's worth it to get that one up. Oh god. Yes. Hit me and go all the way up to the ceiling and never turn again. Yeah, well, the lives we have. We have like five lives right now. Six! Excuse me! <laughs> My god! I 
could live forever. Wow, these things are annoying. They block on you and do not stop. Carmine, have you seen anything on the uh, new uh, uh, Mega Man cartoon? I haven't heard anything about that. Mm. They're they basically, it, it looks like they're trying to make it a kid's show kind of thing. At least from the, the style they're making it look. Oh my line. god, the lines! <laughs> Jesus! It's like they're telling me we're sorry for, for not saving you in so many stages. I'm pretty sure the drop rate of lives is 1 in 255. Yeah. We're getting them like crazy! Man! This is the reason why, um, this stage sucks, by the way. Those do looking all- Oh god, what the hell is that? It actually sucks. Oh, yeah, that's a... I can actually jump into it. Yeah, that went through one. Ooh! <laughs> well, didn't need that one! Oh! Wow! Those rocks are dickish! Jesus! <laughs> Screw that! Just gotta remember to stop a bit before them. I'm gonna use an E tank right now because I don't believe I'm gonna Seven die. lives and seven E tanks! My god! Something feels wrong here! I think we're a little overpowered. And we- well, we got through all the hard shit on the main stages <laughs> now, so... Ah, I mean, I guess. Uh, okay. Unless Bright Man stage is really hard for some reason. Anyway, you made it say that's Roman. Let's see if I can kick his ass. <laughs> this weakness is a dive missile, missile but, well, let's see what he can do. How hard is this asshole? I remember, he has a log with ability frames. He's gonna make him pay in Oh, the when he drills into the ground. Oh, you can't see where he's gonna come up. Oh, God. His drills are somewhat fast. Okay, looks like he's probably the second most difficult robot master. I remember Bright Man also being a pain in the ass too. Don't get a lot of time with Drill Man. To shoot you know his invisibility frames, his shots are almost as fast as Ring Man. I don't feel bad. I really just don't want to be asked. Fair enough. Hey, all lot, we're gonna be sitting here forever if it happens to be that troubling. I mean, I have a lot of lives. I really don't want to waste my time. Yeah. You, 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 you. Those drill things come fast. Dick. Man, those invisibility frames. Oh. Looks like he follows you around for a bit. You gotta move, keep yeah. moving, I keep guess. Keep sliding. Yeah. To avoid getting red. Well, at least that makes it predictable where he's gonna show up then. Yeah. I was gonna say, if he just showed up somewhere random, I'd be like, yo, that's messed up! Yeah, so, at least now nah, I can say this thing. I can't remember how much of these are. Uh, Tron, uh, the weapon trying for the weapon of uh, Tank on uh, Octagon works in, in this area. Hey, one's here, last one. I oh, this one is. Rush Jet. Yep. And it's been toned down in this game. Does it take up a lot more fuel? No. You can't fly upward? You can't control um, left and right. Oh. Oh, no moves. Okay. I see. Anyway, to the right man. The only thing that's left. <laughs> Jesus. Why don't you have an animal on his head? He's got a hamster running in the wheel. <laughs> I am Bright Man! Wait, you're not a robot! Wait, well, you know, I am a robot master! No, you're getting controlled by an animal! Oh, god damn it, Wily is learning from Eggman! Shit! <laughs> huh. Well. That certainly makes it difficult. Yeah. Huh. So their fireworks can light up the room for a brief period of time, too, if you kill the light sources. Jesus. Like so. So there's light enemies in the area you can see. The fireworks will brighten things up for a bit. Wow, that is a somewhat difficult jump. Yikes. It's tight. Oh, you guys again. And now we got Grasshopper. Ooh. Oh, God. In a stage that has nothing to do with insects. It's awesome. <laughs> We're dealing with a freaking light bulb, man. I was to make it. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Yeah, this stage actually looks a little difficult. Yeah, this is the stage I always take a lot. Well, I was kind of kidding when I said this stage would be difficult. Hmm. Something makes me think you want to go up that ladder. Yeah. Just here. 
Don't need wires. And have wires. Very useful. Ah, well, useful. Good enough. Who wants a pit? Who wants gumballs? I hate gumballs. I never actually eat gumballs. Well, I, I, they're just like normal gum, I guess, except they're hard to start. Yeah. They're alright. Make sure your teeth are tough enough for it. Anyway, so this way, and down first, because down here is actually some optional shit. It's a, um, E-Tank. Yeah. As long as this game actually has a bonus room for you, though, bro. But I see some people say this is their... I see some people say this is their least favorite Mega Man. I'm just like, huh? I mean... Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't it's match really up. It's really kind of hard to say. I mean, it's, I'm sure, yeah, it's a drop from two and three, but put it that low, that's a little ridiculous. It's a little strange. Yeah, three. Yeah, three. Not again. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Oh, man. The lack of brokenness. It hurts. Wow, this is a little difficult. Ah, right, there we go. Thank you, Bloom. Wow, it's hard to get back. You got a life and an E-Tank. Yep. Six lives and eight E-Tanks. <laughs> My god. So strong. I'm strong. No! I'm strong. Oh god! Oh, okay, the one went back. I was gonna say, that one's horrifying. It's like the other grasshopper would steal you. Ugh. Oh, that jump sucks. Oh, he's not gonna fall. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look like... Only makes it look like certain ones fall off. Alright, Eddie? Never mind, you're not here. I feel like it would have been for some reason. Because I don't know where the checkpoint is. I'm correct. I mean, he always does show up in half the stages. Oh, it's just... Oh, no! You have to wait for it to reach the end and jump... At Oh, I hate that shit. It's like he's gonna wow. Wow. He's gonna have to try to dodge them and keep them alive, or gamble your jumps wisely. Oh, this is the checkpoint. Oh no. This part isn't hard. Yeah. Oh, now he doesn't climb up. What a prick. That's not the one you were thinking. Of. This is the one you're thinking. Of. Yeah. Oh, and they changed the way they jump too? Jesus. They have a set pattern. Some jump far, some jump short range. Huh. Oh, this is gonna be in my ass. I wonder if that's based on where you jump, because those ones did differently from what they Let did. Let me before. see something for a sec. How do this? Okay, maybe this could work. Ah! It blocks you from getting hit once, right? Yes. Okay. It's not as good as one of the uh, later incarnations in the Joel Show. Right. Like I said, Joel Show is my favorite. And you'll understand why when you get to it. Uh, it makes it sound like something you can just tank through enemies. Oh. Like. Well, here's the thing it doesn't tank through everything. Obviously, the strongest of Well, you can get rid of like all projectiles, probably. Something like that. It does not. Let me just put it to you this way. Imagine if you had a shield that could rip through any small enemy. Any projectile, and it doesn't go away until you hit something strong. Oh wow! Does it consume energy over time, or when you hit it? No, it consumes energy for one use. Oh and as God. long as the enemy doesn't, you know, take more than one hit, it will rip through anything. Damn! It's powerful. Holy shit! And it's my favorite. Um, what? One of my favorite weapons. That's not my favorite. That does sound really good. Jesus! Makes that tough, difficult game easier. I think, it, I think it's like the second boss I go after because of the shield. Of course. Alright, bright man, let's see Here. what you're made of. Just keep screen nuking him. His energy goes down as your ammo does. Oh, yeah. oh shit! Oh great, he's got the flashman ability. Fuck you. I'm healing myself because I do not feel comfortable about the fact that he might actually choke me. We got plenty of E tanks to spare. Oh, the end of the flush! Well, whatever. This, yeah, at this point, we just go buster. So, this guy's just another Flash Man, imitator. Man, that's the third boss of the Mega Man series that does stuff to freeze you in place! 
Oh, fuck! That's kind of a thing that happens a lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a good power, but damn! <laughs> Anyways, let's. So now, now we... with this, we have access to Cossack Fortress. Yes. Now let's put a stop to Cossack, and not widely apparent. Oh, yeah, that's right, Cossack's the one. I keep forgetting about that. Thanks, you changed the plot for once! Holy crap! Yep. 